name is Alexander. Thank you for coming. I'm a master's degree student at Sao Paulo University in Brazil. <coughs> I represent the Michael Schindler Spaceship, which is a experience in science in a collaborative learning virtual reality environment. So, first I'll give you some background on the work we used to do. Then I'll talk about, I'll show you a video of the of the Myrishana spaceship. Then I'll talk about virtual reality on, on education, collaborative learning, some of the preliminary tests we did. And then I'll find some improvements of our work. So, the university, the Sao Paulo University is, is, uh, has the Polytechnic School and I work at a laboratory named uh, Integrated, Integratable System Laboratory which is stands to the LSI. So we have previously worked on music education, some, here are some examples of this software development we did. Uh, we have also try to bring technology to, to schools and maybe you also recognize the OLTC project over there and also we have worked before with robotics so uh, the Mario Schindler spaceship is uh, is also an uh, approach to bring technology but using virtual reality, I'll show you a video. We should have some audio here, but so I'll, I think I'll describe it to you. This is the initial video that is shown for the kids. Uh, the Mario Schindler Spaceship is installed in a science and museum. So kids have this 30 minutes activity. So they have they have to accomplish a mission and they have this they first watch the video describing the mission and then they have to go to, to enter to this scenario which looks like a Star Trek spaceship and this is the, the, the building and so this is the presentation of the, uh, of the mission. They have to rescue a population in a very far planet, and they have to play interactive games during their mission to, to see how successful it's going to be the, the, their mission. So, kids, uh, it's a game for kids between 80, 8 and 14 years, which is the elementary school in Brazil. And they play the spaceship for 22, um, 22 kids. And also has uh, a tutor from the park to give them instructions. Okay? So I think I'll continue with this presentation. This, this video is also available on, on YouTube if you want to check it out. So, so why did we choose Mario Chamber as the name of the spaceship? Mario Chamber was a famous scientist, a Brazilian scientist who worked with uh, Albert Einstein, also Pauli, Fermi, he did believe he was working with uh, quantum physics research out in Brazil and also in Europe during almost like the Second World War. So, what, what we want to, to get from this name is that the protagonist is possible for Brazilians, right? Because in Brazil, people used to, to think the scientists are never Brazilian. So 
we have to capture this, this message from the mother chamber. So, we're trying to use virtual reality to, to improve the education process. So, it's a, the, the user interface and the scenario and also the realistic environments. We, we try to motivate kids to engage in this game. So, so this, this way we can provide more interaction with the study objects, which is physics, astronomy, also geometry. So teachers can use this as a, as a beginning to explore these subjects in classrooms. So also virtual reality gives, gives you no time and space restrictions. So uh, it would be very difficult to, for children to, to try out some strongly subjects. So with virtual reality we can explore this. Also, the, the, our approach was to make science fun. So it's a, it's a game, as a collaborative game approach. Children uh, work in different in six workstations and they have to solve problems during the interactive games and the and how much uh, in, it's, they're successful they get success in the in these interactive games determines how how successful their mission is. So we want to also emphasize that learning is an active process. provide this collaborative game with a very strong sense of engagement because also because of virtual reality. So they also play the same game which has they, they have the same goal and they have to work together to rescue the population as I said. So they have this transition throughout about energy speed, menace and common and their local decisions affect how good their performance